wood chip in time. Uh, those of you guys uh, that haven't seen the uh, documentary going around on YouTube called, um, is it Back to Eden? Yeah, I think it's Back to Eden. It's about uh, a guy who uh, has um, really rediscovered the importance of mulch and ground covering uh, to grow his garden and not to have to depend so much on irrigating. And we've kind of adopted that ourselves. So we bought this used wood chipper last year. It's been sitting in storage all winter. So it's time for it to be put, pressed into service this year. When you put your small engines or power equipment into storage, you should not leave any fuel in them. Just run them dry and let them run until there's no gas in it. And when you do use gas, make sure you buy premium gas that has no ethanol in it. Uh, most stations, if you call around, you can find it. Ethanol uh, is a product that they add that destroys the seals and um, the softer, pliable parts inside the engines, and it's just death to, to power saws. Uh, power tools. So, yeah, you're going to spend a few more cents, but those few cents you're going to save are going to spend are going to save you dollars when you don't have to replace power equipment or expensive engines. All right, it's got a paper filter in it. You can see, uh, pretty dirty. Some filters you can clean. This one you can't, but a uh, nice fresh filter. And I guess we better put the sleeve on here. You know, usually when you're using this power equipment, it's in the summertime and the dusty environment, and the air filters uh, get a lot of use. So, in some, you know, if you're really in dirty conditions, this needs to be done more than annually. Now, this particular engine is a V-twin, so it's got two plugs. So we'll put two fresh spark plugs in. Now this particular engine has an external oil filter which is really nice. So I'll go ahead and change that out. Now with oil filters, whether it's your car or power equipment, make sure that this rubber seal on here, you coat it with a little bit of oil. You can use the new oil or any oil is fine. And you don't need to really over tighten oil filters. Uh, you never want to put them on with a wrench. Usually, as tight as you can get it with one hand is sufficient. You may have a small battery in your power equipment. Some of them need service. They'll have caps on them if they do. Some of them are sealed like this one. doesn't need any service. One thing that uh, you can do that will save your batteries and make them last about five or six times longer is to take them out. I'll show you what I do with mine. So I just have a small, uh, what I call my battery station in my shop. And with just an um, uh, inexpensive battery charger, just your standard battery charger, make sure that it's one that has an automatic setting so you can turn it on and leave it. You don't want something that uh, is going to boil your batteries dry and destroy them. Take your batteries out of all your power equipment, whatever it is in the winter time, bring them in. Don't sit them on concrete, but sit them on a wood bench or if they are on the floor, make sure that they're sitting on wood and just charge them up. Uh, let that sit on there for about 24 hours, then move the clips over to the next one and just make sure that they sit charged. If you do that, uh, you don't have to worry about them draining and running out of power and not working anymore. Batteries that are left in equipment that have uh, uh, maybe a, even the smallest charge will be dead and if a battery sits dead too long, there's nothing you can do to bring it back and you'll have to go replace it. So start yourself a little battery station and just take them out and keep them charged. There is one thing you need to look at on most, whether it's a mower or a wood chipper, a lot of equipment, have, they have belts. and. If I was a professional and using this to make my living, I'd probably change these things annually so I didn't have to suffer a breakdown and uh, lose work for it or lose money. Uh, for me personally around here, I'm not going to change a belt that's working good, but I will have a couple on hand uh, just in case. So my whole day is not shot uh, if I have a, a belt that shreds or breaks down on me. One other thing to look for is any grease zerts. They're going to be uh, on bearing areas. Those need to be hit. Um, this is more than annually, probably every couple of uses, especially something that really gets a lot of um, uh, a force on it like this. So one of the essential tools that a guy needs to have is, is a grease gun. Uh, these, you've seen these before. This is just a canister type. You buy a canister and it loads in the back. This is one that's got a flexible head on it, and there's also uh, the fixed head. The fixed head's a little bit easier to use, especially for because uh, you don't have to get a, a ha extra hand on it. But sometimes you can't get hard to get areas. So if I was only going to buy one, I would uh, get a flexible head if I had a choice. 
And this is just something you can find at a garage sale. And you don't have to use the grease canisters, they're just really convenient. Um, you can pack them in by hand, I've done that before, but this is a perfect type of item uh, that you can find for a dollar or two at a garage sale. So that's basically a full service for any small engine. This is something you should be able to do in 15 to 20 minutes. One tip that, I, that I'll give you that I do myself is now is the time to reorder the supplies. If you uh, wait, you kind of forget the part numbers, you throw away the spark plugs, you throw away the oil filter, and you have to get online and do all the research if you don't have the manual. And, it's, and what happens, I think, for most people is you just uh, don't do it. You don't want to take it. You decide you want to use your tool. Uh, you, want to, you don't want to uh, take half a day going to the hardware store and chasing all this stuff down. So make yourself a little box. I keep a little box and write the power tool on the front and keep, keep that paperwork in there. You know, write down what spark plug, write down what air filter. Take this in and, and go on eBay and order that stuff. Just get it delivered to your house. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to drive around. And then uh, put it in the box and then next year when you're ready, uh, it's no big deal. It just saves you aggravation and just saves you a lot of time. So I started chipping and I could just tell that it wasn't cutting very good and the, the blade was dull. And you can see right here, uh, the blade sits in here. There's just one blade on the flywheel and indeed it is uh, really dull. So I have an extra blade uh, that I keep in my box there that I've honed to, it's really sharp. So I'll put that on there and then I can sharpen this one here at my leisure. Like that? Welcome home. I'm glad you're back. 